Now this past NBA draft, there was a player that fell outside the lottery that almost immediately people were saying was gonna be the steal of the draft. That player was Jaime Hawkins Jr. And so far, he's been proving people right. Now, a big part of that was Hawkins being drafted to the Heat. Not that Jaime isn't talented on his own, but this seemed like the perfect fit for the Heat who have a proven track record of developing players to get the absolute most out of Hawkins. And this is partially because the Heat have this culture built around a hard-nosed defense and high effort. And Hawkins coming in as a four-year college guy, he's most likely had team defense drilled into his mind over and over again over the past few years. And along with seemingly his pretty high motor on the court, it results in being a plus defender and a pretty good fit for the Heat system. Now, the one area of his game that maybe isn't a perfect fit for the Heat is his inconsistent and unproven three-point shot. Now, the season's still pretty young, but he's shooting under 30% from three right now. And the Heat's lack of three-point shooting has long been a concern, so hopefully Hawkes can improve in that area. But even if he's only a mediocre three-point shooter going forward, uh, there's, he still has a lot to offer on the offensive side of the ball. Now, three-point shooting aside, Hawkes is not only adept at cutting to the basket and finishing with either a layup or throwing it down with a dunk, as well as getting in position to score, He's also great as creating his own shot in the mid-range. Now, as you see him score in the mid-range here, this is kind of where he reminds me a bit of a light version of DeMar DeRozan, or even kind of of his teammate, Jimmy Butler. Now, I honestly don't know what kind of ceiling Hawkes has. Maybe he could be a guy who flirts with a few all-star appearances, or maybe he's a top-line six-man who is not only a bucket, but can sit in his chair and play a little bit of defense. But that aside, I do think Hawkes has shown and proven to many right that he is a player with a very high ceiling that could be a valuable piece on a genuinely good NBA team. To show this even further is the fact that Jaime Hawkes has played a big role in the Heat's last five games, and they've won all five of them. I think this brings their win streak now to six games, but with Hawkes playing in the last five games with players like Tyler Hero missing some time, and considering the not so impressive start that the Heat had to the season, I think this is a big deal for the Heat going forward. Now, all this being said, Hawkins' career is just getting started, and who really knows where it'll go from here, but I think he's shown there's plenty of reason to be optimistic. But that's all I pretty much got for you guys today. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about Hawkins, uh, what do you think he'll be in the league, do you think he could be a star, is he going to be a good role player, or do you think he's going to fall off? I don't think so, but you know, just let me know. Um, and if you stuck around this long, maybe leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and helps the channel grow. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.